Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture, we will discuss about rotational symmetry. Okay, in my previous lectures on symmetry, I told you about what are symmetrical figures, what are line symmetry, okay, and how to find the number of line symmetry in a polygon. Okay, so now we will discuss about rotational symmetry. So first, before going into the rotational symmetry, let me tell you two basic things. What is center of rotation? Okay, so students, what is a center of rotation? Okay, basically when an object like, let me say, this is a clock. and its and and its hands minutes and and hours and rotate either in the standard clock it rotates clockwise okay if the hands of this clock rotates and its shapes does not change then the rotation turns an object about a fixed point. Then this fixed point is called as center of rotation. Means a object is rotating at a fixed point. Means okay, this is called as center of rotation. Now comes to angle of rotation. The angle of rotation is basically, let's say when the minute hand was at, this is the minute hand, okay, and when it moves to, like here it was 0, 5, 10, 15, and it moves to 15, so the total angle it covered is 90 degree, okay, and this is called the angle of rotation. The angle during the rotation is angle during rotation is called angle of rotation okay now let's come to rotational symmetry so students i hope you guys have made a paper windmill in your lifetime somewhere earlier okay so i am drawing here a paper windmill which looks like this okay so this is the paper windmill in this you can see that there is no line symmetry if I cut the figure from here and if I fold the figure towards the line then you will find that there is no line symmetry so but you can see that this figure is somewhat symmetrical okay so now let us check what this symmetry is let's say this is a b c d okay if i rotate the figure 90 degree okay means 90 degree anti clockwise what i am doing here i am rotating the figure 90 degree guys my drawing is not that good so kindly bear with me now A comes on bottom part all the so you can see that these two figures are symmetrical okay and similarly if you rotate it further 90 degree you will get here it will be D A B C ok so all these figures are symmetrical and so this is called as rotational symmetry whenever you rotate a figure and you get the another figure as symmetrical as the original one 
so this is called as rotational symmetry students okay and it is rotating about a fixed point which is called center of rotation and the angle of rotation which i told you is 90 degree means from what angle you are rotating the figures so i hope students you are pretty clear about rotational symmetry in my next lecture i will cover some example based on rotational symmetry okay so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys are pretty clear about rotational symmetry now and if you have still any doubt or any issue then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning